Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Man, it's been a while since I've done a video, but um, I got a good one for you tonight. I went to bed about 8, 8.30, couldn't sleep, and I spent a greater part of the morning in the scriptures. And this here, fact, it, it happened, it came to me last night, and um, something I want to share with you that's that was an eye-opener to me when I first came across this revelation. But let's, 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 let's cut the chase and get to the point. In Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, Jeremiah 6, 16, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the way, and seek and ask, and ask for the old path, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. I'm going to give it to you in a nutshell. You know, I, I hear it so many times in the church. People say, well, you know, when God, I went to the altar and I asked God to forgive me of my sins. I accept Jesus. But yet you walk out the same way you walk in. And you, know, you, 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 you mess up. You make a mistake. You sin and the preacher says, Brother or sister, don't worry about it. When God looks at you, he sees the blood. He sees the blood. He sees the Messiah. He sees Jesus when he looks at you. That is a lie from the deepest, darkest, hottest corner in hell. When God looks at it, if you are not in covenant with him, and he looks upon you. He don't see Jesus. Let me tell you something. The only way the Father can look at you and see the Messiah, that is if you're walking as he walked. Are you walking in the same, that, that ancient path that Jeremiah 6.16 6, talks about, that ancient path is Torah. It's following the instructions I should have been I should have been better prepared, but I just wanted to I, I, was, I was in a rush. I wanted to get it out there before I before I got it before I forgot it. There is no covenant without obedience. There is no covenant. There is no relationship with the Creator, the Lord God Yah my Elohim, without one. Walking in obedience to Torah. There is no covenant. There is no salvation without obedience to Torah. Simple. I mean, that's it. See, our salvation is based on our obedience. Yeah, we're saved by grace through faith. That's the first step. But salvation is a walk. And that walk is to walk in the ancient paths, to follow the instructions, to walk as Yeshua walked. Let me tell you something. If you're not, if if you're not walking in Torah, if you're not pursuing Torah, then when the Most High Elohim looks at you, he don't see Yeshua. He don't see Jesus. He don't see the blood, if that's what you want to say. What he sees is one that's walking in rebellion, one that's doing it their way and not his way. But they said, we will not walk therein. But they said, we will not walk in the ancient path. That's what the church says today, that we will not walk in the ancient past. We will not follow Torah. We will not keep the Sabbath. We will not keep the kosher diet. We will not observe the seven biblical feasts. And you think you're on the highway to heaven, you better look because you're going the wrong direction. If you're going to walk as Yeshua walked, if you're going to be in covenant with the Father, then you're going to have to walk in the ancient paths. You're going to have to follow his instructions. You're going to have to follow the instruction that is written and recorded in the Torah of how he wants you and Jim Odom to live. Bottom line, that's it. There is no salvation without Torah. There is no salvation without obedience. Man, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. But the truth is, 
their eyes, they refuse to open. No, the Father has not revealed it to them. He has not opened their ears. And I'm going to tell you why. He, Yahuwah Elohim, will not cast his pearl before the swine. He will not reveal his Torah to those who are not going to walk in it. He will not reveal his Torah, his instructions, who to those to whom he know, to whom he knows will disobey it. You got something to think about tonight. Seek if you want to be in covenant with Father, seek the ancient paths. Seek the ancient paths. Pursue Torah. Till next time, be blessed and much, much shalom.